All right, we're here with Lewis Dubik, who has had nothing short of a fantastic year. His first year starting on attack. A uh, couple of years is extra man offense. Lewis, let's go through your time in Maryland and how you came. You know, it's very normal that every year one or two guys blossom as seniors. And Lewis Dubik foots that bill this year because you haven't played a ton of minutes in the past, but now you're super integral and it's got to be pretty nice to be playing with Logan and Jared. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's been a great four years here. Um, I've had enjoyed all my time here and um, obviously it's great to play play big more some more big minutes this year as anyone who comes here that's the goal to, to start and play and uh, that's a special thing about this place is that you know come to come to work every day and know that you know one day it can all be taken away from you whether it's injury or, or a loss and um, so we know what it takes and we're just excited for an opportunity this weekend uh, to play another game and to be together and uh, we know one day at a time is is what it's going to take to to get back so last year ends and it's kind of like the the heart of the team is not back all right connor's gone mm -hmm. and the rambos and the hikai everybody's gone did you have the confidence in spring training or practice that this team could be a team that could like run its non-conference and only lose one game with a basically insane schedule yeah um you know i think that's just the great thing about this place is we have so many guys that are so talented and, and we know that we lose talented guys, great guys, good locker room guys, good leaders every year. And, um, you know, that's part of growing up and spending four years here is, you know, the next guy up mentality. And we always know we have confidence, whether it's, you know, next year or next game or the next practice that if, if someone leaves or someone goes down or, uh, you know, we lose one that we have the, the ability to bounce back and that next guy is going to step up in their role. and. Um, you know, that's what makes us, I think, so successful and, and been so successful. And, um, you know, guys understand that the opportunity is there and that, um, you know, you never know when it's going to come. But when it does, that we all have the confidence in, in that, that guy to, you know, play well and, and perform at his best and, you know, would I, do whatever he needs to do for the team. You know, it's funny, uh, Coach, I mean, lacrosse experts, the guys who've been covering it for years like myself, I'm a little biased, though, so I'm really not a neutral guy. Yeah. But they say that when guys leave, Tillman reloads. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Do you feel that way? In yeah. other words, can you look at your team right now and say, hey, you know, when I go next year, this guy's going to step right in. They're not even going to remember my name. For sure. Um, that's a, the great thing about this place, I said. And, um, you know, I don't know if it's reloading or whatever you want to call it, but I think just the culture here and you know, the fact that guys work hard and know that their opportunity is coming, whether it's as a freshman, sophomore, in my case, senior year, um, that opportunity is coming and that opportunity is there. And, um, you know, they've seen guys be successful, you know, whether it was Giblin last year or, or Chisholm the year before. And once that opportunity comes, great things are there for them. And, and um, you know, just being ready for that moment and uh, understanding that all the hard work goes into it. It's not, not lost. Is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. You got a ton of goals this year. I think three hat tricks or maybe more. I don't even know. That's not the point. And most of your goals are assisted. You kind of like sneak in in front of the net. Is that happened because Logan and Jared are such threats on their own? Yeah, um, you know, I don't know why it happens. Uh, but it happens a lot. But it happens. Uh, I don't know if it's lucky or timing or practice, but it's practice. Uh, uh, you know, the five guys around me have been so good this year, whether it's Logan and Jared or Will and Bubba and Anthony and, and Kyle and Russ, um, you know, so much talent and just playing off those guys and understanding that you know, those guys like to run around and dodge and just trying to find an opening spot and, and finish the playoff and be opportunistic and be efficient has uh, been really helping me this year and I think it's been helping our team and, uh, you know, I don't really care about the goals to be honest, but uh, just making sure that I'm in the right spot so that those guys can be successful and, and, and resolve our team team can, can win some games. I honestly believe that when uh, Lewis Dubik scores a couple goals, it throws off the entire defense. Because <laughs> if they if they ignore you, you're going to score. There's no doubt about it. And if they concentrate on you too much, 
you got two studs around you, so it's been great. Looking forward to the rest of the season. This is really like the second season once conference yep. play starts. Yep. But uh, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, a big game this weekend and in the rest of the Big Ten slate. And Brutal schedule with the Big Ten. <laughs> yeah, we love it, though. We always love a challenge, and we love coming to, coming to work on, on Monday and knowing that we have a challenge on Saturday or Sunday or whenever it is. We're, we're ready, and we're going to be focused and uh, excited for you know a good, a good game this weekend and good competition, and hopefully we can uh, get some more Ws down the road here. Lewis, good luck for the rest of the season. Appreciate it.